tell us how you think big data and cloud computing is going to change things and change the way the world operates today. I think of big data essentially as a natural resource. It's like air, water. Because how does one take decisions without having data available? Right? Now, if you start looking at it, how does that impact your life? If I gave you a better sense of data on crime demographics where you live or educational standards, not just on a holistic school level, but down to your teacher, down to the history or the math class or how progression would happen, your dis ability to make decisions change, right? In your simple way, it's changing. Now you have apps like Open Table. Earlier when I came to America, fatigue would set in. You would call six restaurants, maybe 10. Maybe you had an assistant, you would call 30. But you could not look at 10,000 in a nanosecond. You can now. It's a simple, simple application. You look at ways. You want to go from point A to point B. It tells you how to get there in the fastest time with real-time information, again, helping you make decisions. So the list is long, right? It's easy to get to, but when we think big data cloud, we tend to think, oh, you know, it's the C-suite executives trying to, yes, that's part of it. You know, how do I say Vaishali is my client? If you look at a large bank today, by and large, Vaishali is not their client. They have a credit card client, they have a mortgage client, they have a credit risk client, but they don't have you as a client. They're only looking at you through history and a profile of history, not your future, right? Now, could you bring social feeds into account? Could you bring other projections into account and demographics in saying, well, Vaishali has a graduate degree. She went to Columbia. She's not very old. She has, still has 20, 30, 40 years of working life left. She's held stable jobs. So we think she's a better credit risk and she should be given credit for the mortgage, right? That's a different way of looking at risk completely versus trying to extrapolate history. Then you have other aspects of it in medicine. A doctor only sees so many patients, and in those so many patients, he's, or see, she sees so many diseases. And a certain sense of bias sets in. Now, if you have things like AI and big data looking at that problem, you have counterintuitive results. You have non-linear pathways to thought that we humans are not very capable of. So it, it's a big, big world. 